I went into this video already not happy with the situation. Then I experienced some customer service things. Then I got the product. Steak and Shake, I hate to say this, but we got a lot to talk about. Goblins and Goblinettes, welcome back to another edition of Destined to be Goblin. Destined Goblin here. This is where I will try a food product of some kind, maybe something you didn't even know existed, and I will decide whether or not I should give it my Destined Goblin seal of approval. <laughs> All right, let's start this because there's a lot to go over on this one. If you remember a few months ago, Steak and Shake came out with their new burger. And what they did was they took their existing triple steak burger, they added another slice of cheese, and they called it a new triple steak, triple cheese burger. They had a big marketing campaign about it, talking about how they had this new product, this new burger, and I reviewed it, and it was good, but all it was was an extra slice of cheese on their already existing burger. Now, I have been defending Steak and Shake for a long time. Uh, Steak and Shake has a special place in my heart. It was one of my dad's favorite restaurants. I've eaten a lot of Steak and Shake. They put a good product out. I usually don't have very many problems with them. The pandemic hit them very hard. The franchise was in a lot of trouble and they're trying to make their way back. They're not doing themselves any favor by trying to put out what they're calling new burgers and all they're adding is another slice of cheese. They did it with the triple, now they've done it with the double. They took their existing double steak burger, added another slice of cheese, and now they're calling it the double steak burger double cheeseburger and promoting it as another new sandwich. All they're doing is putting an extra slice of cheese on these sandwiches, that's it. The marketing geniuses apparently think this is a big deal because you keep seeing all of these ads for this, for the new burger, come try the new burger, it's just an extra slice of cheese. You've got every chain out there, every burger chain that is putting out constantly new burgers. Sonic has that new burger right now with the pickles. Uh, Sonic puts a new burger out almost every month. Burger King recently came out with those, impo or uh, not the Impossibles, the, uh, the Whopper melts, in addition to the Impossible Whoppers. Everybody's got new ideas. All you have to do is change your toppings up, put some new toppings out there, get a new flavor, do something like that. Do more than just put an extra slice of cheese on an existing sandwich and try to pass it off as a new burger. Now on top of that, I placed the order for this burger in the app, and it was supposed to be delivered car, uh, car hop, okay? You park in the spot, you put your spot number in in the app, and they deliver your order to you. It was never delivered to me. So I finally had to go through the drive through to pick up my order. And they apologized, and they said, oh, you can come back at any time, and we'll give you a free double. Okay, now the other thing is, this is supposed to be, this is $4.39, 530 calories. This is supposed to have lettuce, tomato, pickles, onions, ketchup, and mustard on this bad boy. You see anything on there other than patties and cheese? There is nothing on this burger except the patties and the cheese. I, I, I don't know what to tell you, uh, Steak and Shake. I am extremely disappointed in the product that you're putting out. I mean, if you've run out of ideas, if you've run out of creative ideas, just look at what everybody's doing with the Big Mac lately. Everybody's copying the Big Mac. You don't have to have any creativity whatsoever. Just copy the ingredients and put a new sandwich out that way. If you can't remember the, the ingredients, just think of the song, two all beef patties, special sauce, lettuce, cheese. It's not that difficult. Then remember to actually put the toppings on the burgers. Very disappointed in this. I'm going to go ahead and give this a shot and see. I can tell you this is not 530 calories. Not everything is on there, obviously. 
Um, but this was $4.39 for this product, which had nothing of the toppings on it that it was supposed to have, but it does have two patties and two slices of cheese. The thing that frustrates me so much about Steak and Shake is that they do make a good burger. They cook a good burger. Um, they put a good product out. Ever since the pandemic hit, when they when they kind of fell on hard times, every experience that I have had with them has gotten steadily a little bit worse. Um, customer service is slipping badly. Um, the, the entire experience is kind of going downhill. Um, I'm really hoping that this is not the end for Steak and Shake, but from what I'm seeing, they're not doing themselves any favors um, with, with some of the choices that they're making and some of the, the, the customer service experiences that they're putting out. It's not good. On a positive note, I am debuting Elvis mug right here. Uh-huh. Uh, I am a big Elvis fan, and I recently had the opportunity to visit Graceland, and Mrs. Goblin got me a nice travel mug here, Elvis travel mug, so you're going to see more of this starting to appear. Obviously, I can't take Monster Mug on the road with me, but I can take Elvis mug, so I am very excited about this one. I mean, obviously it's got very nice flavor. It's cooked very well. It's meat and cheese. I mean, this would have been much better if it actually had the lettuce, pickle, onion, tomato, ketchup, and mayo that it was supposed to have. Why didn't I go back? After everything that I had just gone through already, I was in no mood to even bring this point up anymore i figured well i'm just gonna move along go on here we are obviously i don't think i have to say it but there will not be a seal of approval delivered on this one uh, i am very disappointed in steak and shake that is the new double steak burger double cheeseburger you probably will, if you have Steak and Shake in your area, you probably will start to see ads for it. And, um, you know, they're promoting it pretty heavily. They're promoting it again as another new burger. Is it? It's it's the, the steak, the double steak burger with an extra slice of cheese on it. That is what is available right now at Steak and Shake. Check that out if you would like. I hope you have a better experience than I did. And I will catch you next time.